My name is Nick Lawson and I'm a documentary filmmaker. We're standing here along University Avenue. You can see the light rail construction behind me. It's winter time, uh, so there's a little hiatus in the construction, but it's going to start up again in March. I'm a former news photographer and I worked for a couple news TV stations in the Twin Cities. And I was tired of doing stories in one minute. And I thought about University Avenue and all the different cultures and ethnicities and businesses and, and just all the colorful characters along the avenue. And I thought uh, this would be a good opportunity to tell their stories. I'm worried that some of these smaller businesses may not survive the light rail construction and uh, they may have to move on. So this landscape, as we know it now, may change forever. And I felt that uh, someone needed to document that. I'm following five different businesses before, during, and after construction to see how they do during the construction period. Alex, can you just show me around your restaurant a little bit? So, uh, where I opened before... I visited with uh, Alex Pham. He runs a pho restaurant. It's a, a Vietnamese uh, soup. And he is uh, totally not for light rail, but he has to survive in some way. 20 years ago, this is a drug heaven, okay? Prostitute, drug dealer, all kind of crazy stuff, you know, in this area. City kind of give up, almost give up on this area. And we, my father, actually one of the, the pioneers, he moved in here. He believes that uh, tax dollars shouldn't be spent on something like this, but he's left to, you know, fend for himself. Uh, we were at uh, Urban Lights Music, and um, Timothy Wilson is the owner there. And uh, he told me his business was down 80%. And that's a huge number to me. I don't know how he made it through there. Steadfastness, man, and just uh, prayer every day. You know. The thing is, for him, he thinks, he believes that it doesn't really benefit him. He just thinks the light rails to go from St. Paul to uh, Minneapolis which may be true. And um, for some of these small businesses, light rail doesn't really do much for them. They kind of question the whole reason for doing the light rail. I started filming in 2009. This is a four year long process to cover this documentary. But I think the most important thing is to get these people's stories told, to get their struggles out there, so that people value these businesses on University Avenue, these small mom and pop shops, that you can't find anywhere else with all these big box stores going in. There's not many places left like University Avenue. I think I want to tell meaningful stories and hopefully I can uh, do these businesses some justice, tell their story, and um, change the way that, that businesses are treated when it comes to light rail construction.